This is John F. Kennedy's best friend. His name was Lem. Lem. He was a homosexual. President, he wanted nothing more than his best friend, who was an open homosexual, to live with him in the White House. How dare you go after John F. Kennedy? He was a veteran war hero. It's not like he was wearing matching gay guy short shorts, shirtless, arm in arm with the guy. Oh, yeah? What about this? Arm in arm in matching short shorts. John F. Kennedy, of course, being shirtless and his studly homosexual best friend that he stays uh, close with his entire life, smiling like he just sucked a dick. How dare you, Big Bear? How, how fucking double dog dare you? I'm a baby boomer, okay? That clearly is just two young men. One just so happens to be a homosexual. There's nothing gay going on there. It's not like they're petting a dog together or anything. What if they're petting a little puppy together in white linen pants? How, how dare you, Big Bear? I'm a baby boomer. But that's a man that put a man on the fucking moon. What did you do? He's not homosexual, petting the, petting the puppy. You've, listen, I was with you as a fan. I was with you as a fan when you were going after the, the goddamn liberals. And then even when you came at your own Crowder. But now that you're attacking an American patriot as a homosexual, how, how fucking dare you? I mean, it's not as if he was in a barbershop quartet together. Ha You've gone too far this time. That's the man that put a man on the goddamn moon and, and made black people and white people equal forever. The same exact cock length and everything. And now you're trying to say he's a homosexual. How dare It's not like he slow danced with the homosexual and, and, and made out with him. Well, here's a picture of John F. Kennedy Jr. and his homosexual best friend slow dancing and kissing. How, how double dog dare you? John F. Kennedy was a, a guy, a fucking war hero. It doesn't matter how many cocks that war hero took in his asshole.